Hello everybody, welcome back or thanks for joining if you're new to my channel. Sorry, I sound a bit sick at the moment. I've caught a bit of a cold. Um, I went to Sydney last weekend and um, the whole of my office ended up sick. So now I'm starting to get it this weekend, which really sucks, but that's all right. I've decided to spend the most of today inside. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you all what I packed for my trip to Iceland. It was a few months ago now. Um, I did start filming this and then I just kind of got distracted and I just didn't end up finishing it. So I thought I'd do it for you today. Um, because when I started packing for Iceland, I found it really difficult and um, there wasn't really too much out there in the terms of like what I should pack, what it was going to be like and um, and I'm the worst packer in the world anyway so that really sucked and I um, I don't know I just I thought I'd do this because I, I really want to help other people be, like get better at packing because and then I can learn from this as well it's such a good learning experience but also just because it's one of those countries where it is so different and um, the weather changes constantly and you just never know what to expect. So I thought I'd show you what I packed and then after I'll sh kind of tell you like what I recommend to do if I was to go again. Um, I'm not going to do my carry on this time. I think I might do that in a couple of months when I go on my next trip to Italy. Um, so let me know if you want to see what I packed for the Iceland trip on my carry on or if there's any suggestions that you could give me for when I go um, do my next video on packing for my next trip. That would be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed, please look, subscribe to my channel um, and let me know if there's anything else that you want to see and do in the world of travel as well. That would be great. Okay, so I don't really have the best lighting in my apartment. I do apologize. But this is my Kathmandu bag that I just well, I've had it for a little bit, but this is my first trip that I've actually taken it on. So um, I tested it out. Um, so this is what it looks like inside. So it's pretty deep and it's got these straps that you can hold everything out in. Um, the best part that I like about it and that this is why I bought it was because it has wheels, but it also has like um, the backpack straps as well. So you can use it as a backpack. Um, really handy if you're going to places um, that have terrain and stuff. So it was really good for Iceland because they don't really have um, places that, you know, you can accessible via wheeling unless you're in Reykjavik. So um, that really great bag. I got it on sale for like maybe 150 bucks or something like that from Kathmandu. Definitely recommend them. Um, so I'll show you now what I took. Well, what I wore on the plane. So I wore this card, like this oversized cardigan on the plane because I do get cold a lot. Um, and plus it was getting quite cool in Melbourne and I thought it'd be good just to have um, as getting off the plane in Iceland as well because it's quite cold. I did wear um, black jeans with this, um, which I'm currently wearing now, so I can't really show you, but um, I wore a white singlet underneath just in case I did get hot on the plane. Um, and also I took this scarf and this top here is kind of like um, light material but it has sleeves at like three quarters. Um, we did a stop in Abu Dhabi. So we did a stop in Abu Dhabi um, for 18 hours where we didn't have access to our checked baggage. So I took an extra top on board with me um, because we went to some like mosques and, and stuff or places of religion where we had to cover up. Um, so that's why I took the scarf as well. Um, I had to wrap that around my head because you can't show hair and stuff like that. So I wanted to be quite respectful towards that culture. Um, and um, I don't think I took anything else. Oh, I did take like spare change of like underwear and socks and stuff as well on my carry on. Um, because we did have a hotel that we could refresh in before we hopped on back on the plane to London and then through to Reykjavik. So um, that's what I took on board with me. Definitely recommend I took this um, yellow if um, yellow jacket. Um, it's lined with wool and it cost me like $30 from the States a few years ago and it's probably the best coat that I have for like such good price. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll link it below, but if you follow me on Instagram, 
in literally all my pictures I was wearing this coat um, yeah and then um, I took my beanie I only ended up packing one beanie and I thought this beanie was perfect because it goes with absolutely everything it's such a neutral color um, and that was the only other scarf that I took because I didn't want to pack too much but um, that scarf was really warm I didn't pack that on to take to Abadar with me because it's so thick but it was perfect for Iceland um, and it is reversible as well so you can kind of use it as like two in one scarf um, the next chunky item I took was my puffy vest um, this is H&M vest I bought a couple of years ago in Canada um, and it has been amazing it's served more than its purpose in Iceland I wore it almost every day I probably haven't worn it too much um, other than that Iceland trip and I have worn it since being back which is good because um, it was really good I I really loved it um, so there were the three big chunky items like coats that I took with me um, and then I took that green rain jacket as well um, we did get some rain slash snow so that came in handy as well so it kept me dry um, I took my winter pajamas because it was always cold even though we were in April it's going to summer um, so I took apart from the jeans that I took on board with me I took a pair of leggings a pair of Under Armour um, tights as well um, a pair of blue jeans and then a pair of white jeans um, so that's pretty much all I took in the way of bottoms and then tops I took a singlet that goes with my plaid um, like underneath my plaid um, flannelette that I absolutely wore the crap out of uh, it was an extra layer under my big jacket so that was perfect and then another long sleeve under armor top as well and then another long sleeve black top so I didn't pack too much in the way of tops I literally wore all of this more than once and also sometimes at the same time so it was just so cold um, and then I took this uh, my white jeans and then like a turtle neck um, turtle neck like knit top um, that was for kind of like one of my nicer things for when we went out um, for dinner um, and then these are my shoes that I took I only took three pairs of shoes which I thought for me was really good um, I wore these Connie's on the plane um, well they're not really Connie's they're like imitation Connie's um, I wore them on the plane so I can slip them on and off um, and they're super comfortable and then I took these sand shoes I literally wore every other time um, while we're there just walking around because there's lots of rocks and stuff like that um, and we did some hiking and stuff like that but um, then I took my boots just for going out so I wore those with that um, white jeans and knitted outfit <clears throat> so that's pretty much the gist of what I took um, now let's get stuck into what I recommend and what I shouldn't have done and all that kind of stuff okay so I think in terms of like packing for Iceland, um, there's not too much that you really need to go buy or anything like that, but um, I think what I would have done differently from that list that I just showed you, or like that stuff that I just showed you, probably would have been um, the cardigan that I took on the plane. I didn't use it at all after that, so um, I probably wouldn't take that again. It just took up space in my bag and I could have put something else in there so I would have scratched that one um, I think in terms of what I shouldn't have taken that was probably the only thing that I shouldn't have taken at all everything else I absolutely used the whole time I was there sometimes I even wore two, um, two pairs of pants at once so I think the one thing that I would have definitely done differently would have been um, taking an extra pair of leggings I have another pair of under armor tights that I wish I would have taken because as I said like I did wear a couple of pair of pants um, more than once or at the same time and it would have been handy to have another pair because I did um, it did rain and like it snowed and stuff so it stuff got like really damp and it just smelled gross and we didn't really have anywhere to kind of like wash it again so that was probably what I what that is probably what I would have changed and um, packed as well. I think instead of taking that cardigan, the one thing I should have packed was a hoodie. 
surprisingly enough, I didn't take a hoodie. Um, stupid of me. And I do have an Under Armour um, hoodie as well that is like light material. Um, well, it's light, and but it's so warm at the same time. Um, and so that would have been quite easy to take in and carry around in my bag um, as extra warmth and good to have under my jacket as well. I think if you've got one really good jacket, um, you don't really need to take nice uh, stuff underneath. Like, link my Instagram below, but as you can see in all of my Instagram um, pictures that um, I pretty much wore my yellow coat the whole time. Um, so if you're there in the winter months or in the shoulder season, even in the summer, I'm not too sure what it's like in the summer, but I can imagine that the, the weather would quite vary. Um, you'll probably find that you'll wear the one coat the whole time, um, or like a jacket or something. So it's probably just quite essential to take one thing that goes with everything, um, and then stuff that you can just layer on underneath as well. I personally don't own any thermals, which is crazy because I lived in Canada for two years and I don't know how I got away with not wearing thermals, but um, I did. And a lot of people did have thermals, which they said was really good. So you could take that as well. Um, I think that's probably about it that I, I should have taken. Um, instead, I packed pretty, pretty well considering that I'm a horrible packer and um, I'm pretty proud of myself for doing so. And also I kept it like 12 kilos, which never happened. So we were like trying to keep it under 15, like the whole group of us that went, and I managed to do that, so I was pretty stoked. I did end up coming back with an extra blanket. So um, one thing about Iceland is that they're known for their wool and I really wanted a knitted cardigan. They were so expensive and the blanket was cheap, like slightly cheaper than a cardigan. Um, and to be honest, I probably would use that more than a cardigan anyway, which I have it on my couch. So <laughs> I do use that quite a bit. So it was totally worth it. Um, but I think like everything else was totally fine in terms of taking with me. Um, and if you're taking a backpack, like that keeping it light definitely helps. Um, if you're traveling with Intrepid, I definitely recommend them anyway. Going to Iceland, they're amazing. But if you're traveling with Intrepid, um, they do usually ask to take a um, backpack because um, some of the places you're going on, like farms and stuff, and it's probably easier to just have a backpack. But in Iceland, we didn't really need one to, so to speak, probably like during the day to take one for your day trips. But um, in terms of like a suitcase, we probably didn't really need it that much. Um, but yeah, so that's probably it for the video. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.